तभी संपूर्ण में फिर भी स्वागत है ईओएस इंजीनियरिंग अनुस्क्रीन में आज को इस भिडियो हम त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय अंतर्गत इंजीनियरिंग अध्ययन संस्थान में पढ़ाई होने इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स शुरू करने आज को इस भिडियो में चैप्टर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स रेस पच्चीस का नेक्स्ट भिडियो में हमी नेक्स्ट चैप्टर कंटिन्ू करने सुरू करूँ चैप्टर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स डील्स विथ द मेथड्स दैट इनेबल वन टू टेक इकोनोमिक डिशीजन टुवर्ड्स मिनिमाइजिंग कस्ट एंड आर मैक्सिमाइजिंग बेनिफिट्स टू बिजनेस अर्गनाइजेस इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स इज द एप्लीकेशन अफ इकोनोमिक टेक्निक फर द इवालुएसन अफ डिजाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग अल्टरनेटिव्स द रोल अफ इंजीनियरिंग इकोनोमिक्स इज टू एसेस द एप्रोप्रिएटनेस अफ गिवन प्रोजेक्ट इस्टिमेट इट्स भैल्यू जस्टिफाई इट फ्रम एन इंजीनियरिंग पोइंट अफ व्यू and it involves the systematic and technical evaluation of analysis with emphasis on the economic aspect and has the objective of assisting in decision making principles of engineering economics the four fundamental principle that must be applied in all engineering economics decision are this principle one a nearby penny is worth a distant dollar that is time value of money Principle two: All that counts are the difference among alternatives. Principle three: Marginal revenue must exceed marginal cost. And principle four is: Additional risk is not taken without the expected additional run. But is for the engineering economics book written by so many Nepali writers and according to exam point of view, there are. Seven principle of engineering economics. Principle one: Develop the alternatives. There must be more than one alternatives. The choice is made among these after subsequent analysis. Principle number two: Focus on the difference. Only the difference is expected outcomes among the alternatives are relevant to their comparison and should be considered in decision. Principle number three: Use a consistent viewpoint. The likely outcomes of the various alternatives, initial cost, future saving, etc., should be consistently developed from a defined viewpoint. Principle number four: Use a common unit of measure. Using a common unit of measurement to specify as many of the prospective outcomes as possible will make easier the analysis and comparison of alternatives. Principle number five: Consider all relevant criteria. Selection of alternative required consideration of almost all relevant criteria. This includes both the outcomes specified in the monitor unit and those expressed in some other unit of measurement. Principle number six: Make uncertainty explicit. Uncertainty is inbuilt in projecting the future outcomes of the alternatives, and it should be honored in their analysis and comparison. Principle number seven is. Revisit the decision. The initial projected outcomes of the selected alternatives should be subsequently compared with the actual result achieved. Revisiting of decision ensures the good result of the final decision. And to remember these seven principle, you can use this sentence is a shortcut technique. Dear friend, you too can make a rocket. Ah. Uh, D मतलब प्रिंसिपल वन डेवलप अल्टरनेटिव एफ फोकस ऑन द डिफरेंस फर्स्ट यू यूज अ कंसिस्टेंट भ्यू पॉइंट सेकेंड यू यूज अ कमन यूनिटी अफ मेजर सी मीन्स कंसिडर अल रिलिफेन्ट क्राइटेरिया एम फर मेक अनसर्टिटी एक्सप्लेसिट एंड आर फर रिविजिट द डिशीजन डियर फ्रेंड यू टू कैन मेक अ रॉक एंड द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज Role of engineers in decision making. Decision making is always challenging. Analysis of each alternatives by considering all relevant criteria, technically, economically, initial cost and future saving, is most necessary. The role of engineers in the decision making is that evaluate the condition, feasibility, and appropriateness of an alternatives of a given project. Estimate its value. and justify it from an engineering standpoint and finally 
discover the best alternative for implementation. And the role of engineers in decision making step by duty can be presented in these following points. Understand the problem and define the objectives. Collect relevant information. Define the feasible alternative solution and make realistic estimates. Identify the criteria for decision making using one or more attribute. Evaluate each alternative using sensitivity analysis to enhance the evaluation. Select the best alternatives, implement the solution, and monitor the result during life of rupees. That is, actual rupees coming into a film and actual rupees going out from a film in different time periods. It is the basis for the evaluation of different alternatives. Yes, flow diagram. The graphical presentation of the costs and benefits over the time, that is both cash outflows and cash inflows with respect to a time scale, is called the cash flow diagram. This is a time profile of all the costs and benefits. It is a presentation of what costs have to be incurred and what benefits are received at all points in time. And for the construction of cash flow, the following conventions are used and it is necessary to remember or it is necessary to follow this convention. The horizontal axis represents time, the vertical axis represents costs and benefits. Costs are shown by downward arrows and benefits are shown by upward arrows. All the benefits and costs incurred during a period are assumed to have been incurred at the end of that period. Since the period is normally a year, this is called the end of the year rule. And this is a typical cash flow diagram. Here the horizontal line starts from 0 to nth year represents time. These vertical lines represents costs and benefits. And the downward arrows below from this timeline or horizontal line represents expenses or costs and the vertical line in the upward direction represents expense uh, revenue or benefits and uh, I means here initial investment, R means revenue, E for expenses or costs and S is salvage value. And these are the old question asked in IOE exam. Define engineering economics and enlist the principle of engineering economics. Explain the roles of engineers in the decision making. Scarcity is the emerging issue in engineering field. How the study of economics does help an engineer for decision making. List out the principle of engineering economics. Define engineering economics. Write down the principles of engineering economics. Explain why the subject of engineering economics is important to civil engineer. Define engineering economics. Write down the principles of engineering economic analysis. Knowledge of engineering economics helps in decision making process. Justify it by the principle of engineering economics. State and explain principles of engineering economics. Define term engineering economics. Explain the principle of engineering economy. The last ma engineering economic school complete manual with solution of each and every old question solution. Come and lay GL book house, Lakshmi Pustak Bandar, or a prokasit. A complete refresher manual for engineering economics. Your book. Okay. Chapter 1. simple economics basic you chapter 1 matter 
विशेष करी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इकोनॉमिक्स डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड रोल ऑफ इंजीनियर्स इन डिसीजन मेकिंग सिंपल डिफिनेशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इकोनॉमिक्स इस तरह टाइप का क्वेश्चन है रो आपने कर सा सेमिस्टर के एग्जाम में रामेश्वर संग ये वीडियो तो मान ली इन्हों भाई बने अवश्य बने तुम्हारे लाइ